Hello everyone and welcome back to the fam. Here this is episode 2. Episode 1 we uh we got some stuff done. We get, we got a lot of stuff done. I believe if I remember right this was either potatoes or yeah, potatoes and we're not doing that. We're going to have to destroy that crop because we can't even lease that equipment it's so expensive. Sheep sheepies are doing good. Stealing a word there from Diesel Designs. I always calls them sheepies. That's where I watch a lot of my videos from a lot of these guys. These guys play this routinely. And it looks like we almost got a full thing of wool here. We're going to be making some moolah maybe this episode. But we got to find something to haul it with. So, my plan this episode is we need to plant our fields. So, for those of you that weren't here for the first episode, I don't know why you wouldn't be. But we got sugar beets and potatoes right here in these fields and both of these crops are going to have to go. Because in order for us to harvest them, we have to have some equipment that is very expensive. So, and I'm not willing to spend that kind of money just yet. So, let's hop in here. And we'll get things going here. Probably should lift up the bucket a little bit. So this tractor here is what we're going to be used to uh, plant our crops. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Now we got them. That looked very unrealistic, but we'll go with it. Okay, so we're full of seeds right now. And I think if I remember right. Okay, so here's our prices on what things are going for. So, as I look here, the first thing that I see that is going for uh, tremendous amounts, well, number one, that's eggs, but we don't have a chicken coop yet, so that's kind of out of the question. Milk is pretty good prices right there, but really, the easiest crop to grow here that I see, and that goes for a good price, is soybeans. We have one place that's offering 1718 for soybeans, so... I'm thinking we do both of these fields soybeans. So let's unfold this. I'm going to back up here a little bit. And we're going to go hire a worker. Okay, wait. Yeah, hire a worker. Oh, hold on. We didn't select our seed. That was almost a big mistake. Soybeans. Okay. Now we'll hire a worker. And we'll get the... Oh. See... You can't have, you can't have that. You just can't. You do this right. I, that was my failure. I started, I, I set up this worker for failure. All right, here. Now we'll, now we'll roll with it. Can't just leave one strip of potatoes. That just wouldn't work. All right, let's get out of his way. So there we go. There is that much done. And I want to check on the status here. And this is the problem with only having one tractor. As we don't have a lot we can do right now. These are obviously... We have one more thing left before we get another thing of wool. And we'll have four full things of wool. So then we can take those. Uh, we also got some... A mower over here that we bought. And we got a baler. However, I'm really second guessing that baler now after thinking about it after last episode. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to use it right off because... In order to bail anything, we have to first cut it, which we have the mower. However, the sheep, I believe, call for... They call for grass and hay, I believe. So that might actually work. We can make grass bales to put in there. However, we could also have got a loading wagon and just collected the gra grass in the back and just dumped it in there. So I'm not sure on our decision there or whether we're going to keep it or not. So... We only got, okay, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20 sheep right now. 20 sheep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. There's definitely not 20 sheep in this pen. Are they jipping me numbers here? Are they lying to me? I don't think so. So, we're going to take a pause for the cause here until we finish this field. Because there's not much we can really do until that field is done. So... We will see you guys in a little bit. Well, we are back here. Our field is completely done, completely grown. Let's show you here. 
So it's right here. I sped up time after we planted the field, uh, and now it's full grown. And it is canola. So we are going to start harvesting that, actually, with our new John Deere harvester. So we're going to get this rolling, and while we're doing this, we have a couple. I have a couple of things I want to check on. But first, let's just get this rolling here. All right. Hire a worker. So we are five thousand dollars in the hole right now. So we need to get ourselves bailed out. So while we are here, I want to check and just see how much. We could lease a trailer for to haul our wool to the market, get it sold. I hate that that goes to saving every time. Uh, okay, so wool right now is going for thirteen forty six at the spinnery. So that's not a bad price. Now we just got to determine. Okay, so we can borrow. We can borrow like 10,000. Let me see how much we need to lease a trailer. We're not going to buy one right this second because we're probably only going to need it maybe once or twice. We're probably going to only need it like once right now. And I just, where is it? First, let's see how much this is going to cost me. So this is a trailer right here. However, I think... Oh, maybe it's under bailing technology, the one I'm looking for. No, it's not. Well, there is this one. Let me see. We can lease it for a thousand. You know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's lease that one. That's not a bad price. Okay, so. And we also need to. I don't know if I've already bought a pallet fork or not. So. I only see a bailing spike in a bucket here, but I could have bought the other one and just not picked it up at the store yet, so let's see if that's the case. Alright, so let's head down to the store, pick up our trailer for the wool, and see if we have a pallet jack down there, or a pallet fork. If we don't have a pallet fork, we'll just buy one, because they're not that expensive. I didn't know we had a lot of our loan left. So that kind of makes me happy that we do. We sell off this wool, we'll well pay for that trailer. And then some. Alright, I don't see a pallet fork down here. So why we're right here, we'll buy a pallet fork. Yep, main color. Oh no, I want to change the color. Oh, why? There right there. John Deere. So it matches everything, and then we'll buy it. All right, where is? Oh, it's right there. Okay, blend in with the trailer. There we go. So we got that. Now we'll hook up to our trailer here. All right, and let's head back to our farm. All right, so we are back here, get our trailer hauled around, and I think, yes, so this is the perk with this one, is we can do this with it, but oh, we need to, oh, okay, I detached the wrong thing, okay, now, see, because we're going to put these pallets in here, and then close it, and they're not going to be able to fall out, even though most trailers you can strap them down. We don't even have to worry about that. So, let's actually pick up this full one here that's actually still filling up. The other ones I just kind of pushed off so they could keep making wool without being stalled. Okay, a little bit lower. Oh, this is always so wonky. All 
All right, that should be just about perfect on there. There we go. <clears throat> so I boosted the time, so obviously these made quicker than what they probably would at, at standard time settings. Okay, there we go. And we're not gonna have a full trailer. Wool really doesn't go for a lot, but it's so easy to do too. It's only like grass and water, so and then you gotta clean them up. Cleaning them up is the uh, most tedious part of the task, just because they do get so dirty quick. So all right, I get this one. All right, so we'll finish getting these all load up, and then we'll be back, and we'll get ready to take them to the spinnery. All right, so we got all of it loaded here. We're gonna back up to this trailer once again, attach it. We're gonna fold it, securing all of our wool in there. Now, so basically, I don't. We should well pay for this trailer alone here. First, I gotta mark the spinnery here. All right, spinnery's way down here. We'll tag it. All right. So we should well pay for this trailer, but uh, I mean, time will tell. Because uh, leasing this trailer is something that's probably not going to work long term, but uh, using it here occasionally, like we are, this should pay off. But one thing, it would help if we had like a full trailer. We, we have a pretty full trailer. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five of these. Oops. Okay. Stuck on a tree. All right. There we go. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how much we make out of these. But we really need a tipper next to help with our crops. Oop, oh, we almost lost our trailer. So I think the spinnery is right over here. Yes, because I think we can take this road. Bring this right over here. And it should start auto selling. Yes, it did. So we made like six thousand for that. So we well paid for the trailer. So we're going to go ahead and turn this back in. And let me see how much a tipper is, because we can grab that on the way back by. So that's going to be something that we really need. This a, is this tippers? Yes. Okay. It's a nineteen eight five. I hate these axles on like this one. This one's kind of like the one that I'd want to buy if we're thinking least amount of money spent. So let's look here. Can we borrow enough? I think it was nineteen. So yes, we can borrow enough to get it. Really hate borrowing that, but. Gotta do what we gotta do. I like those. It's but oh, <sighs> forgot we got a uh, we got a money issue. So I want to conserve as much money as we possibly can. All right, so let's go to the shop, pick up our new tipper. And that's going to help us when we go to sell our crops to the stores. Okay, so the shop is almost reached. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the road. I was watching the map. 
So I believe if we go out here and we take a left, maybe a quick right here, this should take us right back up to the store. And the store is actually not too far away. Actually, the spinnery was closer than I thought. We should have just kept going around this to there because the store is actually right here. But oh well. And now we'll pull right in here and pick up our kipper. And we'll actually, let's see. Okay, so he's almost full, which is why we need this tipper. So we should make it there about the time he fills up. Be able to put our crops in here. So we'll open up the cover and have it all ready for our canola. And this canola should make us decent money. Because my end goal here is I'd like to get horses, because horses make us quite a lot of money. They're like 50k a piece. Yeah, see his tank's full now. So, and they're really easy to to do. So even if we only did like two or three horses, all you have to do is get out and move them every day. And there's a trail actually right across from where we bought. That's really easy to walk them up. Oops, we might have to... Uh, we might have to circle around here. I think crop destruction is off, so we're not going to destroy our crop. <clears throat> so it is morning time here when I'm recording this, so I'm just sitting here with a cup of coffee, recording some farming sim for you. And that's what I enjoy about this game, is I can kind of relax and record. I'm not super trying to put on a big production like I do with my WWE content. We're just enjoying the game, you know, working with what the game mechanics give us. And yeah. I probably made a mistake going with the big John Deere stuff right off the bat, if you're talking about trying to conserve money, but... I really love the John Deere stuff. I really like the the green and yellow look of the John Deere stuff. So I'm not sure. I'm going to wait before we take this to sell. Because I think we can probably fit the rest of it in here. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll check our prices for canola right now. See what they're going for. Wow. So the top price that we're getting right now at the grain mill is... 1922 so that's 1922 that is nice that is really nice so uh, that's that's a very good price um so let me see here where's the grain mill okay the grain mill is up north so it's actually not too far away we could cut right out here go along the road down by the shop and take the road up to the left and it'll take us right to the grain mill so while we're waiting let's go over here and check our sheep clean up their pen that's probably nasty for that we'll need this bucket oh I don't know I forget to switch to the tool before I detach and it detaches the whole arm then all right, so we got our bucket back on. And we honestly might have to get them more hay. I gotta check their hay situation here. All right. Now I have seen people use the belt system before to keep it clean. However, I think that's just a waste of belts. Honestly, this is the realistic take on it. So let's uh, let's check out our animals here. I hate this saving thing all the time, but I don't want to turn it off because in case I get kicked from the game like I have before, this will actually save it. So, all right, let's check on our animals. Sheep. They're actually not. They have half the food, so they're actually not doing too bad. Cleanliness is all the way up. Water's almost all the way up. So yeah, they, sh they should be fine for a while. Probably next episode we'll have to get them another thing of hay. And alright, while we are 
See, I wanted to plant the other garden, but I can't plant the other garden right now when I only have one vehicle to take the tipper in. Maybe that's something to look into, like how much for like a small tractor just for transport. Ugh, we're talking a lot of money still. A lot of money. Yeah, the cheapest one's like 5,900 still. 59,000, rather. So that's probably not in the question. I mean, we could get a truck for 45,000, but that's going to be a lot for to hold that tipper full of stuff. It probably won't do it. And then we got, obviously, the big transports right here. This is what I'd like to get at some point. One of these uh, big rigs here. That'd be awesome. Then we can do a few transport missions to make some money. But right now, it's just, just not in the cards. How much does it cost to, like, lease one of these big boys? Six grand to lease. What about this big one? Eight grand to lease. Not worth it. Even if we tag-teamed it with some transport missions, still not worth it. Okay, so there's 3,000 here. How much is there for room in this tipper? There's not enough room for at least 3,000. Then might as well just take it. Uh, yeah, I think there. I think there is enough room for it actually. See on his last row. No, he's got a little tiny section left to do after that. All right, so we will wait for him to finish up, and then we'll take this stuff. So, we only have left in here 336 for canola. That was all we didn't have room for. So, that's pretty close, but we're not going to have room for it. So, we'll probably just actually put that remainder in the silo. Although, that's a really good price for canola, so we'll see. So, we're going to take this up and drop it off. And uh, see what we get for a payout. So, we'll see you guys up there. All right, so we're just about at the grain mill. We're coming up along here. First of all, I gotta say this map is beautiful. Like it is a really nice map. Uh, Ravenport is a decent map too. However, I figured a lot of people would be playing on that, so we would come and enjoy this other map where maybe it's not so quite heavily played for YouTubers. So we'll pull up on here. And we'll unload our soybeans. Here's the, uh, the big thing. Well, how much money are we going to make off of this load? Whoa, -ho, we, we're going to make bank. We're going to make good money here. I mean, we're less than halfway now, but we're already, already up to 20 grand. 30, 31. So we made $26,909 off of that one field, pretty much. Minus, like, 300 that was left in our... In our, uh harvester twenty thousand dollars off of canola alone so we definitely need to continue this canola growing so what i'm going to do uh off the air we're not going to be uh, doing this on the episode but i'm going to replant the other field and replant the field behind of our sh behind our sheep pen of canola and we're going to keep working this canola fields until we have enough to get our horses and then i'd like to get a horse pen and a couple of horses and that's really going to boost our production and boost the amount of money we're actually making. I think that'll help tremendously. You know what? We could actually turn and go down this road. It's kind of a back route to our farm. I think it's actually a little bit quicker. So yeah, 
that is going to do it for this episode. We made twenty six, almost twenty seven thousand dollars on our one field of canola, minus the three hundred and something that's left in our harvester. We're gonna put that in the uh, silo for now, and we're gonna replant both of those fields off, off recording, and uh, we're gonna be making some bank on canola. So. We will see you guys next time right here on CCN Gaming Farming Simulator 19 for Episode 3. That's going to be an awesome episode. You're not going to want to miss it. We're going to be making some real big money there. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.